Hey peoples, back up on the moor. The moor of the dark is where we be today. We're in Balstone Common at the moment, just left the older car park down there. I walked up the bloody hill, so fucking not now. It's a very clear day, lovely. We're just gonna go up to a Balstone uh, tour, and then higher tour, and make our way around a Steepleton tour. We're gonna do a night there, and then see what tomorrow brings. There goes an Alan, look, underneath Balstone tour. Hello, Alan. Hello. Oh, there you got high at all. And over here, you're just about to see high wheel haze over there. Portland's ledge. Yes, tall. Cracking day. So yeah, just gonna make our way up here, bounce along a few tours along the way to uh, Steepleton. And there's a there's a brook name. I forget the name of it now, underneath Steepleton Tour. I'm gonna fill up our water there because well, there's no point in taking two litres of water with us. Not what we can fill up down the bottom of where we're going to camp. Oh, but apparently it's going to be a bit windy later, like 35 mile an hour gust or something. So that'd be a test for the old starlight because, well, the in and the out I keep touching. So I'm going to have to see if I can uh, sort that little problem out. But it's not going to rain tonight. That's a good thing. Apparently it's going to be crystal clear. So hopefully, fingers crossed, get a nice uh, time lapse on the go of the stars. And there's a half moon as well tonight. I think that's coming up it. 1 a.m. in the morning. Tomorrow that'll be, so yeah, it'll be something nice to uh, capture on the old camera. But for now, gonna make it work this bloody hill. Well, peace. peace. we just uh, climbed up to this first lump of granite. It's getting a bit windy up here, but just met a uh, two people and uh, they've corrected us. Balstone Tour's over that way. That is Balstone Tour. We're just on unnamed uh, bits of granite along the way. A cracking view though. I'm saying that you've got a cracking view this side as well. Hills upon hills upon hills. Look at that for a view. So yeah, they've just uh, educated us. Alan was still arguing the toss of them even though they obviously local and they had it on their map. <laughs> Happy days. So yeah, we'll uh, crack on now up to a uh, Balstone, the, the real Balstone over there, and then we'll make our way away to a uh, Steepleton tour. Isn't that right, Alan? Yes. <laughs> yes. But you want to know the funny thing? What? We've done this before. We must have said the same thing last time. Probably. We just even were checking on the map, which means no one double checked us last time. That's because I uh, let Alan make the maps. This is what happens to people. I just presume we were on Bellstone back there. I'd never even bothered to check the map. Alan presumes wrong, doesn't he? It's a tour. It's actually an unnamed tour. It's just a lump of granite. Yeah, it is. Carry on, I should work. Okay. <laughs> what was it, Edwards? Happy days. What do you reckon, Alan? Do you mean that steep thin tour over there or no? Well, my history would not put much weight to what I say, but no, I you, think, yes. You've got all the tours wrong been today. Wrong once today. Twice in theory. Well, I was wrong once higher. altogether. I was just wrong. 100% <laughs> wrong. Alan is always wrong, really. We've got four famous words we say, not five, four. I, I never say these words. Philip is always right. Isn't that right, Alan? No. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> Bloody windy up here, don't it? It is windy and cold. Yeah. Well, they reckon we're going to get 35 mile an hour gusts tonight. Yeah. About 25 mile an hour, 35 mile an hour gusts. So it's a south southeast. So that little bit of Are east you is 100%. Sure? Probably that's a yellow. Are you actually going to question what I'm saying? I didn't look at the weather. There. So there I, you go. I didn't look at the weather. It's a south southeast wind tonight. <laughs> and a little bit of east is vitally cold already. Alan's got his gloves on. Oh, yeah. I've got my sleeves on. And I might have a cracker jacket out in a minute. Because I think walking along that ridge all the way to Steepleton, we're going to be in it, aren't we? Yeah. In the wind. Well, yeah, we're top of the top. Yeah, wind, yeah, we are now, aren't we? Yeah. It's nice up here, isn't it? So you far, it's see. been a track all the way, isn't it? Easy groove. Yeah, quite steep. Yeah, well, yeah, a bit well, steep. Well, granny can make it, then we yeah. shouldn't be making any complaints. Complaints, no. Couple we met a minute ago, the mother and daughter. She was up there, wasn't she? Uh, what was it? Tour bashing, she was saying. I want yeah. a tour bash. <laughs> Fair play to her. Happy days. Right, crack on that way then, shall we? See if we can uh, stop and get a drink on the way and then go on up there. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Onwards in that way. South? Hmm? South. South, South Beach. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs>
Just made it up to Oaks Hall. There's a load of Dartmoor ponies here, look. Hello, beauties. Oaks Hall's a quite a long tour, spread out. But, I don't know, never really been a fan of Oaks Hall. I think it says it's got a great big army out there as well. I don't know what it is, a couple of huts. There's a nice bit of flat grass here though. You could uh, set a tent up in. On, sorry. See the old huts behind the horses there. And you've got another one down there. How many horses are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. Horses galore, or ponies galore. But yeah, there's a bit of flat grass here. You could uh, set a couple tents up, but no, I don't know, never really fancied a uh, oak tool. But I think we're going over there, Steepleton. That's got a couple of huts on it as well there. Yeah, no, that's definitely it now, because I can see Hound Tour. And when we're at Hound Tour, we can see Steepleton Tour. Hello, buddy. You coming over? Beauty, eh? Well, we've uh, come down off the ridge now, and we've made it down to a Steepleton Gorge. If you look behind me there, there's a beautiful little valley coming down through. We've just come down a monster of a hill. And we're at the bottom of, um, oh, can you see the sun? We're at the bottom of the in there at all. But yeah, it is vertical coming out of there. It's like a little river. And you just go straight on up. What are you doing on that, Alan? It looks fine. Hey, it looks, it looks fine. fine, does it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks fine. But check this river out though, it's absolutely crystal clear in here. Look at that. See right on down to the bottom. And then it goes on up this beautiful valley. Behind Allen there, there's a little wall as well that goes all the way along. But yeah, this is the hill, the bottom of uh, Steeperton Tor. It might not look much on the camera, but that is, that is steep. So yeah, we're just gonna uh, carry on filling up the water bottles, or Alan is. I've had a go at doing it slightly, because he's a wimp and he couldn't undo his um, bladder. And I've got cold hands, so I'm not happy about that. Hey, Alan. I don't know what you're moaning about. My hands are soaking wet, I'm freezing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I only did it for about 10 seconds. It's cold, isn't it? <laughs> He's doing yeah. a fine job there, look. Fine job he's doing. I can't get it back on, though. I What's don't know that? what I've done to it. I can't get that little latch on. No, it's a know. pain in the ass, isn't it? Oh, I've just been a wimp today, don't I? Nah, you don't Didn't know what you're doing. Didn't have your Weetabix. Didn't have your Weetabix? No. Is that what it was? I never have Weetabix, so that's <laughs> not really much of an excuse. <laughs> and in a minute, he's got to climb up there. <laughs> that's a beauty. You still think it's a nice, easy climb? Hey? Still think it's a nice, easy climb? Yeah, crack on then. Whew. I don't know if his camera's picking it up, but that is bloody vertical. Yes. Dude. <laughs> Are we sure this is the right way? <laughs> Get on up there, man. <laughs> Steady. <laughs> It's like Steep. A, it's like a one metre step here. That's why it's called Steepleton Tour. Uh. <laughs> Happy days. Uh. <laughs> yeah. We're up here now, we're all set up. Uh, found a nice little spot to where put the old tents up and whatnot. And uh, the window is just absolutely bitter. It's like a south southeast coming through and it's cold as. But it's looking clear, it's looking like it's gonna be a nice sunset. 
So uh, I'm going to get everything in the tent in a minute and warm up and then see if I can get a lap of that sun going down. That'd be nice. But this is our little campsite, look. It's the old tent. There's an Alan messing around with the camera. And then over there, look at that. Hopefully going to be a lovely sunset. Got all the tall silhouettes in the background, look. Up there. High wheel haze and yes tall. See for bloody miles. But no, I think for now, like I say, just gonna get the bags in that in the tents and uh whew, warm my bloody hands up. Alan's got gloves on, he's sensible, see. I've only just put up board. Have you? Yeah, I've put up the tent. I can't do guidelines with gloves on very easy. It's so much easier to take them off, isn't it? Well a minute ago you were saying to me that I'm mad because I'm doing it without my gloves on. Yeah, and then I had to take them off. <laughs> then you realised. Yeah. <laughs> but like I say, it's only like a 15 odd mile an hour wind coming through here, but it feels Baltic, doesn't it? It does, it is proper cold. The view's nice, eh? It is. So hopefully we're going to get a nice sunset. It's not sunset. crystal clear, though, is it? Like it said. No, nah, it did say it was going to be crystal clear, but I can almost see like dusty mist coming up over there, so yeah. fingers crossed for that uh, sunset. And then later on, we'll get a nice night lapse as well. If the tripod don't blow over in the wind. <laughs> yeah. But there we go. Happy days. Onwards and in, inside the tent for now. Yeah. Go on, go. <laughs> Heaps. We're all set up now in the tents and whatnot. Watch the sun go down, or what it was of the sun going down. It was real weird. I was setting up the uh, camera for uh, the time lapse, and like all of a sudden, the cloud just came over. I watched High Will Haze get engulfed with cloud. Yeah, so we're sort of kind of like it's, it's weird because it's crystal clear. We can see the stars and whatnot, but at the level we're at, 530 odd meters, there's a big cloud coming through. So, uh yeah, it's quite bizarre, but I'm going to have a go at setting up a time lap in a minute for the uh, stars because they are out. But we're having the same issue with this bloody tearing over starlight. For some reason, the back end, I can't get it taut enough. And the inner and the outer just touch. And the temp's just starting to get soaking wet down there. So I've, uh, well, I put my bag down there and that helped. But I'll show you what I mean. Well, there's my old bag down there, look. But what I've actually done is uh, unclipped the clips on either side of the tent from the inner and the outer to relieve a bit of pressure. But I've kind of like lost a quarter of my tent by doing so. But I might have, uh, well, I might have lost a bit of tent size-wise, a bit of tent size-wise, but at least I'm not getting wet. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Um, so like I say, I've released the two corners, which have taken a bit of pressure off, but it's even doing it on the side. It's where the tent's just, I don't know, you just can't get it taut enough, so. And it's not even raining, it's just a bit of cloud. But obviously where the condensation's building up inside the tent, and then they're in and out of touch, and they're constantly touching, we get wet. And I don't want to wake up tomorrow morning like, a, like I did on the last camp, soaking wet. So I uh, had to get around there and sort it out. But it is what it is. Um, at least it's nice and peaceful up here. It's absolutely Baltic. When we were watching the sun go down, we were stood up on the tour. And the wind is a south-southeast, but oh, it was bitching. Absolutely oh, horrible. <clears throat> but I'm warm. I'm dry so far. So yeah, it's all good. <clears throat> I'm going to have a fiddle around in a minute with the... Uh, have a camera and see if I can get a bit of a time lapse going on because I think about two o'clock in the morning the moon's going to come up from over there and come up over so that might be quite nice so yeah have a go at that and uh, well if nothing else happens we'll see you in the mañana happy days Peoples, 
up and about now. There's still that south southeast wind coming through. It's pretty bloody cold and pretty blowy, but at least it's clear. There's a cracking morning. I didn't get too wet in the tent either, because I, like I say, I um, loosened up the uh, inner and outer clips, and I put my bag down the bottom. In fact, I took the clips off, but I've been having a look at it this morning. I just don't think there's no way around it to uh, keep it from getting wet in there when there's a bit of a wind. And like I say, it's only like a 15, 20 mile an hour wind up here, but it's a cold wind. Woo! Let's have a look at camp, shall we? There's a little campsite. Alan's just retreating in his tent. Morning, Alan! Morning! <laughs> Cracking view, though. Look at that. And that's where the sun went down last night. But yeah, that was real weird. I was literally sat, setting the camera up, watching the sun go down, and then a band of cloud come over. But it was bizarre, because we were in the cloud here, at, I don't know, 530 odd meters. But yeah, it was still crystal clear and you can see all the stars. Ooh, so yeah, it's pretty weird. Let's have a look at the view from the uh, heading towards the south, shall we? Look at that. Cracking view. A wild tour up there. And Wharton tour. And over there, we've got Hound tour. God, it's bugger off down off his tour. Ooh. Cool. Yeah, so we're all packed up inside the tents now. Almost ready to rock and roll. It's not a bad tour up here, is it, Alan? No, there's one nice spot. Yeah, I got the nice spot. But I mean, like I was saying, like yesterday, Oak Tour is like quite a nice tour, wherever it's yeah, gone now. It's over that, over that way, is it? But you've got them army huts right where the um, flat bit is, flat bit is yeah. so you can camp. They do like to ugly things up, don't they, the army? Yeah, they do like to ugly things up. I mean, we've got a couple of huts over there, but we're nowhere near them, are we? You can't so. see them, so outside, yeah. out of mine. Outside, out of mine. But like Alan says, I've got the nice spot, the only nice spot for my tent. The only bit of flat grass <laughs> in the area. But this is the problem, I'm having my tent. I don't know if you can make it out, but this back sheet here, panel, is just constantly touching the inner. And there's not a lot I can do about it. So yeah, I'm not really sure what the crack is of that with uh, the Terra Nova Starlight 2. Because I've got everything taught. I think it's missing a couple of them in pegging points, really, isn't or a, it? Yeah, a guide line or a pegging point. Yeah. I mean, even the land has got a... Basically, the land was well, it's a smaller panel, but yeah. it's got, just got a, like a, a guide line right in the middle. Right in the middle. Yeah. I think if I could just attach some, a couple of pegging points around here, I could sort the problem out, but... You could pull it tight, because it's just, it's just bending in the wind. Yeah. And it's not even that windy, is it? 20 mile an hour? Hey. It's not even that windy, it's what, 20 mile an hour? 15, 20 mile an hour, and I it's think, just yeah. bending completely in the wind. Yeah. But like I say, I uh, took the inner and the outer apart last night, just unclipped it. I lost about two foot of tent, but I'm dry. Yeah. So, and I fancy that wind's not as cold as it was last night or no, yesterday. No, no, I was Baltic in my jacket and I've not got it on now. That was like a minus six wind chill or something. It was cold. Like. But yeah, we're still having a good camp, aren't we? So yeah. we're gonna crack on down there in a minute and then head off south, I think, aren't we? Knack Mine? Knack Mine, yeah, over there somewhere, isn't it? Where the secret eggs are, the sacred eggs. The secret eggs, Which yeah. we can't find, because they're buried under the ground, obviously. But there we go. And then bugger off over sort of dingery lint store direction, aren't we? Yeah, over there somewhere. Over there somewhere. <laughs> so happy days. I want an upward. <laughs>
But that was uh, Nack Martin. We've just come down from uh, Stephen Tour down to the gorge, Stephen and Gorge again. And that hill is just crazy steep going down there. You've got a job to walk. But then there's only a little walk up through the gorge and then you come to Nack Mine. So we just had a little butchers around there. And then we're gonna sort of plod on south now and go to Oakmont Hill. There's a little ford there. We've stopped some lunch before, so we might go and have a baking buddy down there. And then uh, crack on over to, uh, well, have a dinger tour, Lintz tour. And uh, see if we can find a nice little spot there to camp because found a few spots around there before. So we're not in no rush because it's still in the morning, sun's out. Wind's dropped right down, now we're down here. So we just crack on south and uh, find somewhere for night too. You can be in charge of holding the baking butty tree. Oh yeah, but I think we know how to get the, oh yeah, that's what we're saying, yeah. Philip is always right, Alan. I thought you were like, get the bread ready, so I think you want to cook the bacon first. <laughs> Let's not get carried away. You're not bubbling already, are you? No, I was making sure it <laughs> would have been I was making sure I hadn't gone out. Huh. Mine's not gone out, I can hear it, but I don't know what the wind's doing. You do know if I run out of gas, I'm borrowing yours. I thought I was going to run out of gas. How? Oh, I don't know, I was a bit concerned yesterday. It seemed to take quite a while to cook my dinner yesterday. That's because it's cold. Yeah. No, I, um, when I was in a tent doing the, the noodles, yeah. after doing the pasta, I left it for a while, and then I turned it on quite a lot, and it was just pissing out of this little flame. I see a little shake and it was gone again, but it just gets cold, doesn't it? it well, it wasn't, <laughs> technically it wasn't even cold last night. It was like, it was two, 2.5 degrees in the tent at eight o'clock. This morning? Last, last night. night. In the tent, eh? Yeah, in the foot, in the foot, well, in the um, foot, uh, rest of Yeah, that's the one. But outside that wind chill was, it was cold. fucking savage, wasn't it? It was. What do you reckon, like minus six? Mm. I had a real feel of minus three or something, but it was cold. It was cold on that. When I got out to uh, do a little test of the time lapse, I would tell you, I got back in that. Honestly, I was, uh, I was, I was literally just chattering and shaking. <laughs> I was like, Whoa. I'm going to go all out and say that's the best bacon we've ever had on the camp. We're not eating it yet. Look at it. How sure Soto Windmaster doing in the wind? I don't know, it seems to be fine. I don't know how hot it is. You, you're steaming, I'm not even hot down there, so. Hard I to swear I just had a bang. I didn't hear it, but it's possible. They are, they're firing on um, the Merrinvale range today. Yeah. In the day? Day and night. There's someone walking along the ridge up there. I'm gonna crank these up a bit. Ooh. Waste a bit of gas. You know, I never know what's faster what? quicker on more gas or slower with less gas. Was the opposite of righty tighty? No, it was the same. Righty tighty. You know what I'm saying is, is it quicker to boil water? Uh, like, say, if you turned it up like twice, let's say you had a setting of one, two, and three. I see would, what you're saying. Would it be twice as quick on two and three times as quick on one? And would you burn more? It's three times quicker on three than one. It just depends on a lot of factors. If you had yeah. the wind. Yeah. If you had one of them, what are they things they call MSR, I think, mm. and you put them on and they're totally windproof. You have one of them bad boys on just water, for example. Doesn't matter how hard you boil it. You can, I mean, if you boil it hard on that, they'd burn. But with water, full bore it. Surely it's got to be quicker. I give you ample opportunity last night. I said, Alan, I'm going to open the peanuts. If you want them, come and get them. That's not how it happened. And you, and you said some ramblers. There must be a track there then to that third grave. I don't know. Well, they're walking down it, Philip. I'm going back to the peanuts, Alan, because you're blaming right. me for not giving them to you. I, did I eat any peanuts? You didn't come did you and get them. Did you eat all the peanuts? Yes, I did. Well, then... Only because you didn't want to get out of your tent, put your boots on and come and get them. It was freezing cold. It was. You should have brought them to me. Valentine's Day, you need to be nice to me. What, well, give you a Valentine's gift for my peanuts? Yes, that's and how it... gifts work. You no, can't give me my peanuts as a Valentine's gift. Firstly... Yeah. You're not getting fuck all from me from Valentine's Day. <laughs> Secondly, they're my peanuts and I carried them up there. And thirdly, I give you the opportunity to come and get some. You know, what happened was you were sneakily eating them and I urged you with my 
No, I wouldn't. Here, and I thought, hey, no, you eat no, an no. peanuts? Every time you and asked me. And you said me, no, and you were. No, no, I wouldn't. Every time you asked me if I was doing something with the peanuts, I wouldn't. First time I was making pasta. Second time I was just moving stuff around. You're just moving the peanuts. But when just I before I even the opened it. No, 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 I took them out of the bag and, and, put, and put them ready. <laughs> they were in view. Because if you remember rightly, I said to you, the peanuts are staring at me. And you said, no, they're not. They haven't got eyes. Oh, I did say that, yeah. And I said, well, they are staring at me. And then I am. And that was yeah. that. Hello. Is what? Busy. Busy? Busy? Lovely. Lovely, isn't it? Busy, is it? Not sure. I don't know. Windy? Oh, it could have been. There's a big plane. Oh, what? American. That's a hurricane, isn't it? I don't know. Is it one of those American bigger ones? Though, it's got two jets four on each prop. side, yeah. Four prop. Proper four props. Was it? I think that's one of our new hurricanes. They always fly in ones as well. He's quite high, though, isn't he? They are, well, I guess he's going to, no, Merrimville's down there more, isn't it? You should have that on camera real quick. Yeah, by the time that Too late GoPro now. turns on, it'll be gone. He's a beauty. They always used to come with threes, didn't they? Back in the 80s, there used to be three of the buggers. No, I think we're going to plod on up there in a minute, aren't we? Slow and steady. Easy does it. Easy does it. I'm not sure I'm even going to boil. I am, I'm boiling at the very bottom, I'm just not boiling at the top. You're boiling at the very bottom. Well, look, you can see it's boiling at the, the bottom. bottom. Are you happy enough that's hot? No. Nope. Oh. I want mine boiled. If I it's like me saying you're happy with that bacon like that. Mm, I see what you're saying. Penny Lane is in my heart. It's in my soul. Ooh. Ah, it's hot. Oh, you mean it? We're not <laughs> on for a second again. <laughs> you just poured all over my hands, you idiot. Did I? Oh, sorry. That's why it's hot. Oh. <laughs> I apologise, I didn't realise I'd done that. <laughs> Look, because it's you fucking pouring boiling water on me, man. You, you want me to stir it? Well, actually, I'd do it, because you're... I'm not sure I trust you with my spoon. Well, I don't trust you stirring when i got boiling hot water in my hand. Oh. Can I lick it? No. Why? No, that's my spoon. You're not licking my spoon. I bet you've already licked it this morning. Of course morning. I have. Ugh. That's my Valentine's present. <laughs> Alan's licked a spoon. <laughs> Beautiful. Bloody hell, should we just have a cookie while we're waiting? Show everyone what cookies we've got. Show everyone how good I am to you, Alan. Or oh, don't. <laughs> just, just. Oh, I'm sitting down. You already said sultana and oat. I don't want to see the packet. Soft and. There you are, people. There is a packet of sultana and oat. Soft and chewy cookies. That's better. Mmm. I reckon they're better than the boxes. They've got that, like, doughy-like texture, right? Mm. Soft and chewy. I'm tasting sultanas as well. They didn't hold back on them, did they? They did not. Tesco's finest. What's the difference between sultanas and raisins? Not a lot. There's two birds of prey up there as well. Oh, yeah? I would say they're mate. Courting? Yeah. That's what my granddad would have said when I was out courting your nan. <laughs> it's actually Ockerton Court, isn't it? Or Ockerton Court? Ockerton Court. What's that? Where they are. The hill? Yeah. Oakman Hill, isn't it? No, I think it's Ockerton. Ockerton? Ockerton? Oakman? I don't know. I think it's, I think it's Ockerton Court. Court? Court. Oh. There's a lake or something up there. Yep. Yeah. Why have we only had two? Class four. Well, we have three and two, or two and three. Oh, yeah, we can't, we can't do halves, can we? No, no, there's ten, but we need to have two now and three after, or three before and two after, or four before and one after. And we've had two, yeah. and there's three left. Yeah, three each left. What do you think? We'd have another one, can't we? Should we? Yeah. Go on then. I got really scared then. I thought we couldn't do it evenly. I was like, oh my God, we're going to have to break one now. <laughs> but there we go. Bacon Buddies in a Ford on the way to... I think that's Ockerton Court. Oh. And I think that is... Oh, hang on. Jackman's Bottom. 
possibly we are. We don't know where we are. Yeah, we're not in Chapman's bottom, that's a real right? Hmm, not actually saying where we are. A Ford of some sort. Well, the peeps, we uh, just got to the top of uh, Oakman Hill after our bacon buddies and whatnot. And, uh, well, this is a first. Me and Alan have uh, found ourselves walking along a track made from a high mac. They're uh, doing a bit of um, peat, mortland um, resurrection, they're saying. Um, it's obviously a big trucks drove down here, high mac. First thing for Epfin, isn't it? First time for Epfin. <laughs> But um, the views are absolutely cracking up here now. The moor's opened right up. I'll show you around, the sun's still shining as well. Check this out, look at that for a view. Yeah, we're going over there, Lint's tour. I think you've got Kitty tour at the top there. Steger tour, you've got Dinger tour. So yeah, that's happy days, isn't it? And like I said, the sun's out as well, so it's not too windy up here, but I'm gonna go and have a recce over um, Lint's or see what the wind situation's like there because, wow, well, don't know what the weather's doing yet because I ain't had no 4G on the phone to check. And I don't want to get caught out in a bloody cloud again because that tent's no good for that business. Gonna have to do some modifications on that, I think. But yeah, it is what it is for now. The sun is shining. i crack on over there and uh, we should get there nice and early so. And fingers crossed it'll be a clear night again. Might be able to get another time lapse on to go. So yeah, see what it's like when we get there. Happy days. Well then, peeps, uh, we found a little spot. We were going to go up to Lint's, Lint's Tour, which is behind me, or we'll have a look over Dinger, but just stumbled across this nice bit of flat grass here in a little valley. Like some sort of old sort of mine or tinners, that's and whatnot. And there's plenty of flat grass, so we decided we're going to have a little camp here. And hopefully, I'll get the sun set if I climb up the hill a bit as well. There's my tent there. Hopefully, out the wind a bit so I don't get uh, wet and whatnot. And over here, we have an Allen. Look at that little camp spot. Do you reckon you're a little fine then, Alan? It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's flat. To be fair, I think it was your fine. You spotted it up there somewhere. Eyes of the hawk. I spotted it, I did. We're in the shadow there, aren't we? It's a flat area, isn't it? Loads. It's flipping. Just goes on and on, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like a campsite. A lot of activity going on, though. I can hear yeah, banging up there and helicopters. Yeah. I thought I could hear a radio earlier. Really. No, it's a, that machinery over there banging, isn't it? Whatever they're doing. Mm. But that was a banging little spot, isn't it? Yeah. Try to get a. Oh. Great knee set view. Yeah, see great knee set. Not a lot else because we're obviously in the valley, but like I was saying a minute ago, I reckon that would make, hopefully, if a cloud stays away, getting a time lapse over there, the stars going by and whatnot, that should be yeah. pretty good. It does appear to be clouding over at the moment. A little bit, yeah. yeah. But that might make for a good sunset. It might do. So, what's time? For a quarter to four. Yeah. Better start thinking about going up the hill and finding a spot in a minute where yeah. I'm going to set up my old tripod. I've left Alan down our little valley spot and I've uh, climbed down up the hill. It's absolutely bold to come here. The wind is savage, south, south, east again. But I climbed up here to do a little time lapse of the sun going down there. And it's just popping over the ridge over there now. Got the old tripod there, look. 
Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Running along the ridge of Kitty Tor and Stegator. That's looking lovely, isn't it? Just about to pop down. So yeah, hopefully that turns out all right. Fingers crossed. Got time lapse on to go there. And then I'm gonna pack up the tripod. I got my head torch in case I can't see where I'm going. And I get back down that valley and then I'm gonna hopefully get a star lapse of uh, coming out the valley. So that should be quite nice. Oh, I'll just show you the view before it gets too dark. Yeah, we're over there somewhere. Got a nice view of um, Great Nisa out there. And hopefully get the stars coming up in that direction out the valley. So yeah, I'll be happy days. Look at that. peeps we're all uh, packed up ready to rock and roll i continued looking at my stars last night they were quite nice um got out about 12 and it was still starry it did cloud over i got out for a wee about half past five and it was a bit like this pea soup but um but then funny enough when we woke up it was actually sunny so and now it's come over cloudy again but it is what it is like i say we're all uh, packed up ready to rock and roll i'm gonna make our way up that there valley that hill somewhere head for a dinger tour and then get back on the old um, army track. But we left it, it's found it there for now. Just a little bit of flat grass over there. And over here we have an Allen. He's all packed up. You see you got a nice little dry patch where you were as well. Oh yeah. Your dry patch looks tiny compared to my dry patch. Well you've got a bigger tent. Yeah, well we don't go into that tent. We had leakages again last night on that tent. Well not leakages, but what do you reckon, 10 mile an hour wind? I wouldn't even know. Not even that, and then the outer got stuck to the inner and it's just bleh, wet. I might actually phone Terra over and yeah. just like see if I can just attach some points on there. Because if I attach them and it goes wrong, that's my problem, isn't it? I think whatever happens, they're not going to care anymore. Do you reckon? I don't, I've never dealt with Terra Nova, but... Can't hurt again with cool, can it? No. Because that is... It's... This sort of weather, you, you don't need that. You don't need a wet tent, do you? No, well, no, because if, it, you know, I was a bit damp in the day, but, you know, multi day in it, you just can't get away with it, can you? Don't really. But there we go. Where are you going, Alan? There you are. Onwards in Dingator way, isn't it? Into the greyness. Into the grey. Into the grey. It is just grey. <laughs> Happy days. Oh, we just got over the top of the valley, trying to find Dingator. I can see a uh, lint tour over there, just about through the. Uh, Mist in the fog. Can we come across some sort of little settlement up here? Be in a little hut over here, look. Snug room for two. It's mad what you stumbled across on dark, wasn't it? And then here would have been some sort of doorway. Going on through here, look. That's happy days, isn't it? Goes on all the way over there. Huh. Well, anyway. Onwards and upwards. Can't even see ding at all because it's so bloody grey. A pea soup. But it is this way. Finally found ding at all. Stomped up through the valley. That settlement turned out to be a real big one actually. It's real spread out. But here's old ding at all. There she be. With a cloud coming on through. But yeah, no drink to sight. You could hardly see it. It was just, well, obviously the mist and the cloud coming. And it wasn't until we were real close. You just see this big black bit of granite forming through the, uh, the grey. Woo! Windy up here, mine. Okay, now. 
Oh, right, here we go. And here's your view from Dinger Tour today. Not very good, but there we go. Right, on the old army track, back to Balstone Common. Ooh, happy days. Well, the peeps, we've uh, made it off the moor, as I call it now. Well, we're still in Dartmoor, obviously, National Park, but we're off the actual moorland. Just found a lovely little valley on the way back to um, Bailstone Common. It's been about, I think about five, six mile walk so far from where we were. So it's not too bad. We've got about a mile to go, but it's stumbled across this lovely little stream. Look at that, look. The water rushing on down through the rocks. Lovely that, isn't it? And then up there is where it all began a couple of days ago. So we started climbing up there, up to old um, uh, Bowstone Tour and whatnot, and then made our merry way around Dartmoor. So yeah, that's happy days. But I say it's only about a mile to go now. Back to the car. Um, I always say it's about a mile, but it actually is about a mile. I don't know what we've done all together, probably, probably about 10, 15 mile walk. But like I say, we had a couple of days, so we were just chilling out. Took everything we needed, like the pan for the baking butties and whatnot. So the packs were quite heavy, but yeah, we just took it easy. Slow and steady, easy does it. Right, but for now, I'm gonna bugger off back to uh, Battlestone Common, like I say. Ooh, hang on, just doing a bit of rock climbing here. Ooh, up. And then Alan's gonna buy me a Burger King. He don't know it yet, but he's gonna buy me a Burger King. A Whopper meal, I fancy. So happy days. Onwards and that way.